kids. Today we are going to be making a copycat McDonald shamrock shake as well as the Oreo McFlurry. And then I'm also going to add a third shake on here with the addition of the Girl Scout Thin Mint cookie. I always associate Thin Mints with um, Girl Scouts of course but springtime and St. Patrick's Day because that's usually when the Scouts cookies go on sale. We have some Girl Scouts here so I definitely have a lot of Thin Mints in the house and I wanted to do the Oreo Mix Flurry but add some Thin Mints in there as well. So I have all three recipes coming in this video. Thanks so much for watching and let's get mixing. Okay, so we're starting out with some plain vanilla ice cream and then we have our green food dye here. We also have our mint flavoring, so we're gonna add that to get that shamrock shake taste there. And then for the McFlurry, I have some Oreos to mix in to this. So I'm basically gonna take the Oreos and add them to the shamrock shake to get that McFlurry. And then the other one we're gonna give a try is the Girl Scout Thin Mick McFlurry. So I'm gonna add that in there as well because they're minty, they're green, they remind me of St. Patrick's Day. I feel like it'd be a great combo. Here we go. Okay, to start, you will find this recipe on madebykidsco.com. Now, for a single shake serving, this calls for three scoops, large scoops, of vanilla ice cream. So we're gonna go three there. And then I'm gonna double it because I'm going to make the McFlurry as well. So I'm doing six scoops. This would be for two shakes roughly. Get that last drop in there. Okay, then we have one fourth a cup of milk. And this is actually heavy cream. So it's one fourth a cup of heavy cream. And I'm gonna double this because we're making two shakes. So of course you would just make that accordingly, depending on how many servings you're going for. Okay, then I need half a teaspoon of the peppermint extract. So I'm gonna go a full teaspoon since I am doubling this. This peppermint extract is what's going to give it the true McFlurry taste here. And then I would also say about six drops of food coloring, the green, to get that shamrock shake color. All right. And that is it. It's as easy as that. Let's fire up the blender. See how it goes. Look at how fun that green color is. Now to top this off, you can use whipped cream, cherries, strawberries, leave it as is. Awesome color. Now for the McFlurry, I'm gonna go with three whole Oreos. Mix those in. There you go, got the Oreo mixed in there. Now the third and final shake, we're gonna take all of this and just add some Girl Scout Thin Mints. Okay, for the Girl Scout Cookie McFlurry, going to add three Thin Mints. Now remember this already has the Shamrock Shake in it. It also already has the Oreo. So it's like a Shamrock Shake, 
Oreo McFlurry with Thin Mints added. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give these recipes a try at home. Comment down below, tag us, let us know when you give them a try and how they turn out. Definitely hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for a ton of more St. Patrick's Day, spring, Easter content coming up. Everything from leprechaun hunts to St. Patrick's Day and Easter decorations, gift ideas, Easter basket fun. There's a lot of stuff coming up, so hit that subscribe button. And thanks so much for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day.